Now, we want to program motors. We will have to use the respective class for each of them. We will be programming for NEOs and Falcon 500s. However, you can have SIM motors. This motor is not commonly used because of the weight and size. In our NEO motors, we are going to use the CanSpark Max class. Motor classes such as this and the Falcon 500 equivalent allow us to run our motors, check temperatures, and even check their current encoder position, which is very helpful in giving us precise control over the motors. Before we start, make sure that you have your libraries installed. You can look at setting up your computer for Java to see the process and how to do it. We will begin by creating a subsystem. To do this, we will right click on java slash frc slash robot and click the create new class command. From this, we will create a new subsystem and call it motors. We also have to create an object of the subsystem inside of robot.java. This will be called motors. Above the constructor in the subsystem, we will name the motor that we will use. I will just name it motor underscore 2. For this example, I will be using teleop mode as the mode I will test. We will also put a variable stating the motor I we want to use. To get the ID of the motor, you will have to use SparkMax Client to set the ID of the motor. You can download SparkMax Client by using the link in the description. Inside of the constructor, I will create a new object of the motor that we want to use. This will ask for an ID and a motor type. The ID is the variable you created earlier, and the motor type varies on the motor you have. Mine is brushless with an ID of 11. After you do this, you can set the speed of the motor to what you want using the motors.motor2.set method in robot.java. Motors relates to the subsystem, and motor2 relates to the name of the motor object we created. When we're using the set function, we will want to put a value between negative 1 and 1. Negative 1 and 1 are the max speeds for the directions. 0 is no movement. Now we will use another class for a different type of motor commonly used in FRC, Falcon 500. This class is called WPI underscore TalonFX. We will begin by creating a subsystem. To do this, we will right click the java slash frc slash robot and click the create new class command. From this, we will create a new subsystem and call it motors. We also have to create an object of the subsystem inside of robot.java. This will be called motors. Above the constructor, we will create the names of our motors and the values of our IDs. I will name this motor1 and give it an ID of 10. If we want to find the IDs for the TalonFX motors, we will have to open up the CTRE Phoenix tuner. Inside of here, you will have to put in your team number or robot IP address. In the driver station, we will go to the diagnostics tab or second tab and look at the IP addresses there. After that, we can run the temporary diagnostics server and look at our selected motors. Here, we can select the motors, go to CAN devices, begin blinking them, and set up the IDs that we want for them. In addition, we can set up our Phoenix firmware here. In the description below, you will be able to find this link. This is where you will find the firmwares that you need to use. Just download them and proceed to update the firmware for the Falcon 500s. Make sure that the firmware that you download is the one built for Phoenix 5, not Phoenix Pro. If it says Phoenix Pro, you will have to find the 2023 build for season firmware that is for Phoenix 5. Inside of the constructor, I will create a new object of the motor using the new keyword. 
it will ask for a control type and an ID. For our example, we will be using the percent output control type and the ID that we set before. Inside of robot.java, we are going to use the motors.motor1.set method. This method will allow a speed argument, which will give us the speed that we want the motor to go. Negative 1 is negative 100%, or max speed in the reverse direction. And 1 is 100%, or max speed in the forward direction. 0 is no output. 